Hello everybody and welcome to another fun video. Hey, we're playing more Killer Frequency and this game is basically you are a radio host of a specific radio station. And currently right now we have calls routed to us via 911 to try to help people escape this killer called the Whistling Man. We saved Maurice in the last one and came to find out that the killer is actually just... He just vanished from the room we trapped him in. So, oh, and we got a tape dropped off. So he knows where we're at and he knows who we are. And it's great. Everything's fine. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. Okay. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Keeping the hatches. Where's the stab song at? Hold on. I need the stabby song. Anyways, thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Doop. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Well, she's told me to go get it. Gosh. What's it say? Play me ASAP off air. Okay. Open. Put you there for now. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work now. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. He has an angry color. <laughs> purple message. All right. I'll put it on. I hope it's nothing serious. Or try your call again. Ugh. Straight to voicemail? My God. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... prior and current friendship. Forest mate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less. You have time to record this on set. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? Sure. Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single! We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Ugh. God, you know, we had a killer that sent us a thing. Yeah, but I'll go get it. Don't worry. Is it chill? Where would it be at? So many locked doors, so few keys. So few keys. Um... He said downstairs, right? I don't know where it would be at. Where would it be at? I 
I ain't worried. Is that? That's not it. Okay. Creepy hour. Where's it at? Where? He said downstairs, right? Where the heck you would it be at? I can't read that. Oh wait, is this it? This must be it. Oh, I found Final it. No breath. My tiny selection grows. Yay. Yay. Okay. Closed door. Door closed. All right. I mean, I'm not worried. You guys are worried. We did it. All right, I have it. Wait, where'd he go? Did I have it? Hey, did you get it? Yeah. Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Okay. Um. Um. I had it. Uh. Oh, okay. Not Roddy Snatcher. Do you actually want Gina to sue us? All right, it was an accident. Oh crap! Shoot, I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Uh oh. I really hope it's nothing serious. There. It's not my fault. It changed on me. Okay. God. Time to turn the music off. Ugh. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16. The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Okay. He's free today. And man, okay. being his daddy has changed my life. Okay. I've learned how to live, uh -huh. how to laugh, uh -huh. most importantly, how to love. Oh, okay. Aww, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy, happy birthday. birthday Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Prove it. Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. What the hell are you doing? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. Oh no. <sighs> mm. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Okay. You need to play a commercial cassette. Was that not a commercial? Oh, that's my bad. Here. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> Thanks. Can I grab another beer? Hey, sure thing. Let me grab you one out of the fridge. Oh no, we got a beer. What am I gonna do? The party is going to be over. Uh, what? Fear not. A grilling spree will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins this Tuesday. <laughs> what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Righteous. You heard me. Six 
beers if Kalos High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we <laughs> murder them. <laughs> Me too, Billy. Me too. Get the Come heck out of here. So we're gonna call 555-749-8335. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Uh, I have a feeling you're gonna tell me. Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back wow. on the air. That's for you, and Peggy. we're back. We got a collar. You know what to do. Okay. We got a collar. You know what to do. Hello, collar. I should repeat You're twice. live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Who's there? Who is this? Oh. Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You gotta flex you okay. or doctor on me. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Um... Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia. What's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. But... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. For own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well, there's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, mm -hmm. and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Ch what? <laughs> oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Oh, maybe it was Ponzi's Pizza. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. Mm -hmm. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. I hate this town. <laughs> you know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. Uh. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. What? And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. God, where to start? Oh my god. What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Yep, just think away. I just have to look around. Well, the good news is... Um, the killer shouldn't be here, right? The killer's busy chasing after a doctor lady.
Why is there scary noises? Oh, I don't want to be here. Where's the kitchen? Is this kitchen? It's scary. Hello? All right, maybe it's fine. Not the truck. Seven days. Oh, of course. And that's all they watch is spooky movies? Um. I don't like how there's radios I read so often. Why is this on? Why is it sound like it's on? I don't want to be here. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. This is all I need. How well? It's scary. I'm sure, it's fine. You know, right? Oh man, this music sure is loud. Let me tell you. Hey, find anything useful? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Uh, yeah. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, may I take your order? Um. Uh. Oh man, I got a frat to feed. So give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice, but that will take three hours. You sure? What? Never mind. Just give me the garlic bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. Okay. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where would you actually <laughs> eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Okay. Sure, but if you had to pick one. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Yes. Or do I want really, really good nachos? Yes. It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Yes and yes, Maybe please. I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. When you're ready, shut the music off. I bet. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. This is Fratman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And... This is such a goose prank. 
Sure, whatever. It, it's Goose. Now, listen, I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer! Uh, listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brother's awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the tunes. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Um. The flow? Oh, got it. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no moving the house. What? <laughs> Forrest, line two. You got it, fam. Hello, you're live on 189.16, The Stream. Forrest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Oh my God, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Whoa! <laughs> Why do you say like that? Thank you, Forrest. God, fam. You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Do we do hey, it? Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What yeah, about Clive. About? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. Oh, no. But your guess is as good as mine. No, right, no, no. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. A killer roaming the streets of our fair town? Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's uh -huh. safe. Family friendly place. Yep, so is my streams. Family friendly. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Porsche's Pizza. Oh, the best my of all the pizza God. Pizza. Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no. No free ads. <sighs> I mean,. I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Pontes did save Virginia. I can yeah. be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Oh just take God. a deep breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. <sighs> this is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16. The, the Scream! And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. What? Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special was that lady like coming that out the, to was see that you. always like yeah. that? Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together in 
to the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Uh... Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead. Oh my actually, god. But, uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! Not nah, it'll whistling take a man. while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. <laughs> no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Uh, we'll get you out of this. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carm, I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, Eugene. Breathe, hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I. I'll do it for Molly. But please. Hurry. Okay. I'm hurrying. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Oh, lovers. Um, probably not calling for help. Oh, here we go. No, I didn't want that one. I want that one. It's David Scopo with moonlight how the hell am i supposed to get him through the maze maze you know barbara our receptionist she's a maze maze fanatic shame she isn't here i was supposed to go with her last week but she changed her mind maybe we should call barbara then if she's so big on the maze maze we could but i don't actually know her number Rip. but she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh, sure, yeah. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception, never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah, sorry, I guess it's just the stress of no excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Okay, you got it. All right, other great news. The whistler should be busy hunting a child right now, as weird as that is to say, but that... I hate coming down here. I hate it. It gives me the creeps. All right, maze, maze. Uh... <sighs> Looks like Brad broke her heart. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was that maze maze stuff. What is that? No. No. Died alone. Um. No. Maze maze stuff. Nope. Oh, is this a ticket for it? Oh, and a thingy. There's the map. Go. Here's what I was looking for. Nice. Let me out. No one come in here, okay? Okay? All right, cool. I gotta help a child out. Is that thingy to... <laughs> okay, we got the map. We have a ticket. We'll put the ticket like right there. And the map right here. Any luck? For Eugene? Yes. For Barbara? No. Brad canceled the date. 
So Barbara left her tickets and a map for the maze maze behind. Ugh, Barbara can do better than... Never mind. Let's save the kid. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Okay. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. Okay, he needs uh he needs to go Yeah, he needs to go forward. No, he needs to go uh crap. Uh I can't see. What? Don't respond when prompted for 30. Wow, thanks. Uh, that way, that way. Uh, why do they all look like they're dead ends? I don't know. Because that's a dead end. That's a dead end. I don't know which way to flip and go. Are those like actual areas that they can go or no? Wait, that way, uh, go right. Yeah, go right. Uh, go right. Go right. Okay, here I go. This, uh, uh doesn't look right. Uh, no, no, I I'm going back to where I was. Jesus. Oh! Okay, chapter statue's up one. And the going bells is to his right. Uh you need to go. Oh, it's left, it was left, it was left. Go left. Okay, left. <laughs> I, I took a turn. I'm not worried, you're worried. Statue in front of me. Messed up rocking horse on my left. Uh, you need to go backwards. Go backwards. Backwards. Go backwards. Crossroads. Pitchfork statue up ahead. Where do I go? Why did you go that far up? Oh my god. I didn't want to go over. Go right! Okay! I'm going! Please! No! You don't have to do this! Ah! Shit. Damn it. Oh my god. What time is it? Uh, crap. You know, this is a lot harder than it looks, okay? 16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. I'm lost, Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor, statue. a tractor statue. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay, he needs... He has to go left. It has to be left. Go left. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left. Then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me. And a creepy rocking horse on my left. I need him to go backwards. 
That's what I need him to do. That's what I need him to do. Go backwards. Oh God! Why didn't I just invite her over? Oh. I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Oh, okay. So then he's facing that way, right? He needs to go left. Go left. Okay. And a scarecrow behind me. Okay, in front. To my sides. Okay. Uh, he needs to go right. Go right. I can't run much more. I just passed a cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. Please. Where do I go? Okay, he just passed the corn silo and didn't see anything else on the way. So he just passed it. Uh. He needs to go. Okay, if he goes forward, he'll just... Okay, he goes forward, he'll go back down that way, I think. And then he'll probably get to 10. Uh... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna chance it. Wait, hold on. I don't know. I'm gonna save real quick. I don't feel like having to do all that all over again. Alright, I'm gonna say go forward. Go forward. See what happens. Okay. Here I go. This, uh... Doesn't look right. Oh. Uh, no, no, I I'm going back to where I was. Jesus! Oh, shit! He's cutting through the walls! Where do I go? Uh, wait, so I told him to go forward. He said he was at the corn silo. Uh. Wait, where did he come from? Oh, I misread the map. You need to go left. Yeah. That was my bad. Wait! No! You don't have to do this! Ah! What the hell? Oh my god. Alright, go right! Go right. Oh, he passed the silo. Okay, I see where he's at. And my bike's still here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Forrest. I, I love you, Molly. My ears brosive. That was oh, my God. tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Oh, yeah, you didn't have to I do the map. Pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Unfortunately for Eugene, okay. 140, oh my god, time is dragging so slowly in this game. Let me tell Thank you. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Jeez Louise. Uh, that's been a video. I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for being here, for clicking on. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We will continue our Killer Frequency gameplay. So join us in the upcoming episodes. Have a beautiful, wonderful day out there. See y'all.